Happening now, it has been three days since that mass shooting in King Sessing. And tonight, the father of one of the survivors is talking about how his 13-year-old son had been gunned down and shot in the legs. No one has been getting any sleep as his son is still in the hospital tonight. It is a story you'll only see on Fox 29. Here's Marcus Espinoza. Just three days after a gunman opened fire randomly on several people in the King Sessing neighborhood, the biggest question that remains is why he left five people dead, but also two others injured. I spoke with the father of the 13 year old who survived, and he says his son now faces a future that he never expected. I honestly wish it was me. Like for I, I wouldn't I wanted to take I took them shots from my son. Rafiq Fitzgerald instead takes shifts watching over his injured son at the hospital with his mother. It's been like this since they both found out their 13 year old boy had been shot multiple times and what they'd later find out was a random mass shooting event. Uh, the guy from correct he turned the corner and shot my son first twice in the legs and he like proceeded to um, like stand over him. His son would then roll under a car after being shot just to save his own life. He's one of only two gunshot survivors of the killing spree from Monday. As of right now, he haven't even been able to, um, to walk and go to the bathroom. His father beyond confused why someone would open fire on a child. Again, for nothing. Like, my son, either, what, what did he do? What did them kids do? Nothing. All, all he was was just in his night trying to grab some snacks from that store. Fitzgerald says his son hasn't really grasped just what's happened to him or the fact that he's forever now a survivor of a mass shooting. He lost more than his innocence that night, too, watching his best friend Dewan Brown die right in front of him. For his dad, he's grateful beyond words his son is still here and alive, but his heart bleeds for the families who will never see their loved ones ever again. I can just imagine what they going through. Like, I, like uh, uh, my heart and my condolences go out to them, and, and I just can't imagine, and I wish it was something I could do. In Northeast Philadelphia, Marcus Espinoza, Fox 29 News.